I think the fact that this is very common, depression bipolar disorder, and yet very hidden so that people don't talk about it, society doesn't accept it, medical field has also not done as good a job as we could, it really is striking. We would not accept this kind of thing from any other illness, and unfortunately, we have done so in the treatment of patients with depression bipolar disorder. Patients don't talk about it. The families don't talk about it. Society is used to ignore it, still does. And I think we're getting to a point where we will be able to have a much better roadmap for patients and for scientists to make the next set of advances. But routine screening, routine identification has been a big challenge. About 85% of people with depression, bipolar disorder go to see their primary care physician, but there has not been attention paid to finding out about depression, even though it is so common. There are no tools, and so what we did was we went back to the drawing board and developed a software, which is iPad-based. We called it Vital Sign 6 to make it on par with other medical illnesses so that the, this is a sixth vital sign. The medical assistants in these clinics measure their temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and the sixth vital sign, they give them the iPad and patients fill out these questionnaires. The program is also are much more elaborate on the other end, and that is we provide real guidance, clinical decision support to the primary care providers so that when these patients are screened and if they do have depression, then there is a decision support that the application provides them so that they get guided through the treatment. The risk for depression is very high in teenagers. About 30% of patients will have their episode of depression first time ever before the age of 18. So we are uh, partnering with local area high schools to provide their incoming freshmen a mental health fitness and awareness program that is designed to help them identify those who are at risk. Dr. Trevetti's team um, first introduced the Youth Aware of Mental Health program to one of our campuses uh, in Deep Ellum, and I was just captivated by what I saw. Just the format of the program, that it was devoted to teaching students about positive mental health habits, about social and emotional wellness. You know, we know that in today's world, um, there are far too many students and young people that just aren't taught to cope with the challenges that they'll face later in life. So the establishment of both these networks, and network in primary care practices in, uh, in the community, and then our network with high schools, are both uh, very exciting. We are not waiting for people to come here. We want to be in the community with these organizations to be able to work with them and I think it's time. This is really the time when we can begin to understand what are the predictors of, of having an episode and how can we intervene even before that happens or at least immediately after it happens so that somebody is not consigned to having this for the rest of their lives. <laughs>